Greetings YouTube, it's Slow Cat coming to you again. It's been a while since I've been able to uh, sit down and get with you guys. I did have a couple requests or a request to play some worshipy stuff. Um, and someone was saying that they were having trouble playing worship things, so this is for you. i sorry, I can't remember your name off the top of my head. Um, but anyone else out there in Baseland who needs some advice on worship playing, here is some. Uh, I put a lot of vocabulary in this, like a lot of little vocabulary, just little nuances that you can put in your playing that aren't over the top licks or crazy things, but um, still make it sound good so you're not just root, 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 root the whole time. I find it easier personally to play worship music. I have more difficulty playing faster songs and trying to figure out how to fill those in. So worship music gives me a lot of time to think and figure out where I'm going and put things together. So. Um, the song I used was Thank You, Lord. I figure everybody sings that, hopefully, in their church. Um, if you guys have other requests and things that you want me to do and fill in with sound, please let me know. And uh, I will do that for you guys, all right? So I'm um, detuned a half step. So this song was in C sharp, which would probably be your D. But uh, the first thing I did was... There's a walk down into the six. All right, so it starts in the one, seven, six. All right, so thank. And I actually went to. So before I get to that seven, I go two, one, seven. And then I actually went to three. Because you know, gospel music has that seven, three before it gets to the six. So three. And I actually. I went seven six again, or you can do one six. All right. Pause there for a second. Then before I get to the four, passing note three into the four. Thank four down to the three. All right. Now I can give you some more vocabulary. I'm gonna be nice and give you guys one of my trade secrets here. Um, that was a nice little move, you know, a little walk down to the two. But what you can do when you get to the two is this. Four. Here comes the walk down. And that over the two. To the one. I've done lost myself now. All right, sorry. Um, but basically what that is, and you can do this almost any time you have a two. Uh, preferably if it's a shorter period than a longer two. But basically all you're gonna do is go to your two, go down two strings, right? Basically you're going to the higher one or to the eight if you will. You're gonna walk up chromatically into the two and you're gonna go over one string or over one fret up three strings. Alright. So that, that's actually our two right there. That's the target note. That is the where the key is, the C sharp. That's what key we're in. And I went. Alright. Alright, so that's in a little sauce you can put as well. So let's do that again. Six, seven, five, one. Then I did this. Shout out to my boy Dave Moore. Used to do that a lot. Uh, and it came to me the other day. I actually learned it on piano and then converted it. Um, so basically, all that is is four, three, two, one, seven. Two sharp two or two flat three three five walking up flat six six all right again all right four three two one seven two three flat 
three, five, five sharp, six. All right, you with me still? Okay. Let me do that again. I'm sorry. Seven. One. Uh, uh, I just want to. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> um, four, three. It's a hammer on from the three. I'm using that three to hammer on into the four. The four is the target note. Four, three, two, one. Three. Another good suggestion for you bass players out there trying to figure out what to do on slower songs. It's a very good idea if you're not doing it already. Force your ear, um, force your skills, force your mind and your voice to work together. Sing as you play, um, but play what you're singing, or in other words, play the medley, uh, what they call voice impersonation. Every song you play, um, try to pick out what the melody is. I just want to thank you. What the singers are singing, try to play it on your instrument, and that'll give you some ideas too. Um, things that don't necessarily fit in bass lines, but fit musically because that's what the medley is doing. Um, and what that'll do is that'll stretch out your playing. You'll start to hear new things. You'll get ideas of other notes you can go um, that may not be the bass note that you can lick off of and fit in, uh, which is really cool. Sounds very good. And then the last thing I did was... Um, And so if you were paying attention, that, that's really, even that's an idea off of that melodic. Uh, I just want to thank you, Lord. Uh, so again, that three, hammer on to that four, because that's my target note. Pull off into the three. It's hard to do slow, sorry. Alright, so four hammer on, off to the three, two. Alright, so basically three hammer on under four, three, two, hammer back on under four, three. And instead of going back to that one, I just kind of have that tension and let that three sit there until it starts over. Alright, and all that was was. Uh, two one seven five four three uh, one seven three six. All right, so really, the best advice I can give you, because this is video starting to go a little long, um, and I want to hear your suggestions as to songs you want me to add a little color to, um, give you some ideas for. And I'm trying to give you things that can go to every song, like that da 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 that fits in a lot of songs. Um, that fits in a lot of songs over any two like I told you and some of the other things even that I do it at the end of a lot of phrases too uh, just trying to give you general things because what I found is if you can build a vocabulary that fits in multiple places you can sound better rather than memorizing one song and what you did at that one place in that one song and then you're stuck with that one song only being able to do that lick or that feel in that exact song, in that exact key, at that exact place. You don't want to be able to do that. You want it to be able to uh, universalize to multiple songs. Um, but basically what I was going to say is some word of advice that Sel uh, Selma J. Bowens, I think it is, Selma J., the bass player slash keyboardist on YouTube. Uh, years ago when I watched his videos, uh, he said, when you're playing bass, just keep it moving. That's really the key. Uh, you don't want to be pulsing. Thank you. Uh, can't even. I can't even. You, Lord, that's boring. Thank you, you. I'm finding it very hard to, to know where just the notes are, the basic notes. Um, that's cool when you're a beginner. Uh, but even as a beginner, people's ears can get tired of you just staying on the pulse. So, use what you have and um, just try to keep moving. 
no matter what, just keep trying to, to move. And you may not know where to go, you may not understand, but eventually your ear will just start, your fingers will automatically just start going places. A good rule of thumb, a good thing to know is just know the major scale in your head. And you almost can never go wrong just following some note. You wanna to get to six, all right, take it back a note, or take it back three. You know, and use that, that major scale. Or uh, I wanna go from one to five, just things like that um, and just keep going and your ear will eventually pick some things up and you'll sound like you know what you're doing as you're connecting more notes rather than leaving all that space which you don't want all right so good luck guys I hope this helped uh, let me know if there's anything else that you need I think I'll probably do one more try to find another very common song but if you think of a particular song, something that you need help with, just let me know. That's I'm So Cat. Hope you helped. God bless. Keep playing bass.